Hey guys, Erwin Tech here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Friday Night Funkin' on your Chromebook. If you did in fact enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications to get notified whenever I upload brand new videos to my channel. If you want to go even further and support my channel, you can buy my memberships. They are linked in the description below as always, or you can hit that little join button right next to the subscribe button and gain access to monthly perks such as gifts, emojis, badges, and comments, and live streams. You can also get a secret members only Discord and secret members only live streams that I host once a week for members only. I'm not going to waste any more of your guys' time. Let's just get straight into the video. Alrighty guys, so before we start this tutorial, you will need Linux mode enabled. I have a link to a video I made in the description below showing you how to enable that on your Chromebook if you haven't already. The second step is go to these two websites, which will be linked in the description below as always. What you want to do first is go to the Friday Night Funkin' website right here. Go to this website, scroll down to download now, click on that. If you want to leave them a tip, then you can, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to say no thanks, just take me to the downloads. Click on that and wait for it to load up. Once your page is loaded up, make sure you download Funkin Windows 32-bit.zip. If you download Funkin Windows 64-bit.zip, it will not work. You have to do the 32-bit.zip or it won't work. Do the 32-bit zip, whatever it's called, and just click download. Alrighty guys, so once it's done downloading, click show in folder right here. Wait for your folders app to load up. Since I have a separate screen, it's on there. Just drag it back and just open it up. Then what you want to do is take the Funkin Windows zip file, drag it into your Linux files and wait for it to be done copying. Once it's done copying to your Linux files, close the files app, close this. You can go ahead and close this website if you want to. Then what you want to do is go to this Google Doc, which I said in the beginning of the video is linked in the description below as always. Then what you want to do is hit the menu key and then go to your search bar and type term. It'll be terminal right here. It'll be this first one right here, not termux, whatever that scammy thing is. Terminal right here, the first option that comes up, just click on it to launch it. Then what you want to do is do the number one command, highlight it. Then what you want to do is right click, click copy, go back to your terminal, right click, and then hit enter. After that, do the number two command, right click, highlight, you know, copy, go back to your terminal, right click, hit enter. And then that's basically it. What you want to do after that is do the number three command. Since it's such a long command, you really want to highlight all of it. And then you want to copy it by right clicking, then click copy, go back to the terminal, right click, and then it should automatically do that. It'll say, do you want to continue? Why? And you want to click Y, then hit enter and wait for these packages to be done installing. Alrighty, guys. So once it's done downloading, do the number four command, copy it, can then do control C and go back to the terminal, go to control shift V, or you can do right click, click copy, go back to the terminal, right click, and then just hit enter. And it should just do something just like that. And then wait for it to load up just like this. It will start installing and everything. A couple logos will pop up. And then mainly what you want to wait for is basically a little big log to pop up when you're choosing your Windows version. So we're going to wait for that to pop up. A few moments later. Alrighty guys, so that was fairly quick. It popped up. What you want to do is change Windows 7 to Windows 10 and then hit OK and then you're done. What you want to do is do the number 5 command, copy it, do Control C or right click, click copy, go back to the terminal. You can do Control Shift V or right click and then go back to the terminal and right click. Then hit enter. It's going to unpack all the basically things in that zip file. Then you want to do winefunkin.exe, this one right here, Control C, go back Back to terminal control shift v or just right click if you do that other one control shift v hit enter it's going to launch up wine funkin friday whatever it's called on your chromebook and now guys friday night funkin is installed on your chromebook i really hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you all in the next video goodbye thank you all for watching make sure to like subscribe and turn on post notifications to get notified whenever i upload brand new videos to my channel if you want to support my channel even more you can buy my memberships they're linked in the description below as always another perk to subscribing to my channel is you can comment down below i subscribed and i will give you a shout out in my next video so here are those people who commented down below i subscribed please subscribe to their channel search them up on youtube and show them some support i'm glad you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.